All right. So now we've looked at a couple of features. Now I'm going to take you to an entirely different palette and show you how we can refine this line a little bit. And I know this is a touch on the boring side, but it's really important that this be simple so that you can repeat exactly what I'm doing and get a clear sense of things so that you understand sample, preserve orientation, and now this little guy called the picker palette. These are, you know, small little features, but they make up a huge part of shifting the clay brush to a more powerful, hard surface uh, brush or something with a little bit more control over the edging. So let's take it a look at it right now. And continuous orientate is what it should be on. I was playing with it in between the um, in between the breaks. Uh, continuous orientate is what this will be on by default, though. And uh, continuous orientate is good for most things. What it means is that as it moves across the surface, it'll sample the normal. The best thing to do would be to look at the side. Yeah. And that's facing this way, that's facing that way, that way, that way, boom. That's that, 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 that. So it's constantly changing its its orientation. And so in this direction, the brush should be faced this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and that way. So it's always changing how it's orientated. It doesn't have to do that. Let's go in here and say, well, why don't you orientate yourself once? so that you're going to pick an orientation let's say in this case you're going to pick an orientation going this way and then as you move the brush it will take that orientation and simply continue that and that really allows you to carve in some really nice clean edges it's not the only way but it's one of the tools so we've done that right now let's look at this from the side and you can see exactly what it's doing I mean the disk is right there so I'm gonna move it down here and I bet you the disk will look just like that boom snap okay so that is always there to tell you which direction it's facing but as soon as I click and push down on the surface then that is not gonna change and I'm going to be able to move that through a surface. Now there's some limitations. You know, this is really powerful, but you have to be kind of careful how you use the stroke, especially when you start getting into sampling depth, because this will start to spiral down, spiral down, spiral down right there at the edges. So you can try one more thing. What do you know they have? A, they've got a depth. Just hit once. Let's see if that works. It's not guaranteed, but it has some potential. In this case, I'm going to say continue as Z and leave it there. And I will simply choose to be a little bit more careful. lower my draw size to help me fight any big issues okay click and drag in it's really good nice and strong let's smooth that out a little bit the topology got a little crazy and there you go so we're able to get in and get this a little bit more precise, a little bit more edgy. Not perfect, right? Because there's other tools that we can be looking at that are going to give us a nicer, cleaner line. But we are getting in and getting a nice, clean edge. Is it the straightest? No, it's freehand. But it is a nice, clean edge, and it's geared for hard surface. I'll give you one little cool trick before we move on to kind of the big aha moment I'm gonna come in and uh, let's let's not do that yet let's just go preserve edge that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get really freehand on this 
Let's increase the sample a little bit. Wow. 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 Okay, that got a little nuts. Okay, that's not getting there too much. Let's set preserve edge down and you know maybe move into the move brush. Oh, I'm cheating. Don't tell anybody. And back into the clay brush, back up with preserve edge. And I don't know if you can see what's happening, but literally polygons are being pulled so that this edge just is maintained. They're just being pulled and pulled and stretched and stretched and all kinds of craziness is happening because preserve edge was set kind of high. And what preserve edge is telling this brush to do when it encounters an edge it's going to be pulling geometry around and really honing in on making that edge nice and clean and even better than it was before. It's a special algorithm that's designed to draw polygons towards it almost like a pinch. It's actually exactly like a pinch for edging. And this was designed, it's one of those controlled features, it's designed to help you, uh, how do I say it, designed to help you freehand sculpt hard surface stuff and do things that you weren't even aware were possible with by just you know activating one feature it's pretty neat so experiment with that okay in this next video I'll show I'll give you a big aha moment I'll show you how those simple features that we just explored are actually responsible for some of the most important brushes that you probably use inside of ZBrush there's actually built-in brushes that all they do is exactly what you just learned. They just have a couple of settings changed and nothing else. And that means you will have created three of the most important brushes inside of ZBrush all by yourself just by learning this feature framework.